The season journey is a list of tasks and objectives that offer rewards and was just added into the first season of Diablo 4, Season of the Malignant. There are seven chapters, with each chapter needing a specific number of objectives completed before accessing the next chapter. To gain access to the season journey, we need to create a seasonal character and have already completed the campaign. Bring up the season journey page from your map or by pressing U. In the bottom left, we can see how many of these objectives need to be completed and what rewards are given when completing them. The first reward we get for completing objectives and chapters is favor. Not to be confused with grim favors, Blizzard just really likes reusing the same words for some reason. Favor is what levels up our battle pass. I will have a separate video on the battle pass. The most important thing to note is that all battle pass rewards are cosmetic, whether it's an outfit for your character, something for your horse, or a title. Besides gaining favor, each chapter completed will award us with a cache that can be opened. The first one being a bunch of herbs, and the last one, quote, contains jewelry, a number of late game resources, and a scroll of amnesia, which refunds all allocated skill points and paragon points. And looking at the last chapter objectives, they look obtainable, assuming you have the time. I'm not saying that I'm excited to get to level 100 or beat 15 world bosses, but at least completing the objectives isn't entirely skill-based. Let me know what you think in the comments. Chapters 1-4 to four award aspects for each class, and the next two after that award neutral aspects. One thing to note is that these aspects are added to the codex, so they aren't only a one-time use. Alright, we understand the rewards, now how do we get them? Chapter 1 states that we need to complete 7 out of 9 objectives to move on to the next one. So let's look at the journey starting with Waste Not. Salvage 10 items at the blacksmith. Simple enough. Get 10 items, salvage them, and then we get a pop-up saying objective complete. Looking at another objective, complete a cellar. Go in, clean it out, objective complete. We continue this until we complete at least seven objectives and then claim the rewards. Now we can move on to chapter two, and we do the same thing for all future chapters until the season journey is complete. One thing to keep in mind is that the objectives can be completed before reaching the chapter that they're listed in. You don't have to get to chapter two and then clear 10 sellers to complete the objective. If you've already cleared 10 sellers by the time you get to chapter two, then it will be automatically marked as completed after finishing chapter one. So for my season journey, I'm currently on chapter 3, but if we go to chapter 4, I already have some of the objectives completed. So once I get to chapter 4, then these will automatically turn the 0 into a 2. If we go further into the other categories, I already have the Scourge of the Malignant. So you can already have these objectives complete, you just gotta get to that chapter for the game to count it. This also includes people who still have to complete the campaign, as long as your character is already seasonal. As soon as the campaign is completed and the season journey is unlocked, any objectives that were done during that time will count towards the season progress. And that's really what the journey is about. Completing tasks to get rewards such as aspects, late game items, or favor to progress the battle pass. Let me know if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll talk to you soon.